curbside sign indicates to drivers of a business that's growing. Pull that weed. In more ways than one. Broccoli or parsley, whatever it is. Sunshine's Yard Supply has planted its roots at the corner of Rogers Road and Abel Street in the town of Hamburg. I would like to have more community involvement here, quite honestly. These half dozen raised garden beds are for seniors, and they're just the start. I'm, I'm here to have fun more than anything. I, I, you know, I ran a business for 20 years and killed myself doing it and killed my body doing it. This is like all my passions rolled into one. That two decade long run was Sue's landscaping business. You have patience here. She sold it and <laughs> fast forward nearly a decade later and Sunshine's yard supply started growing. It's been really a lot of work and I've had a lot of help. Help. Not that much, but they'll get. That's what Walzak sells here. It's in the form of discount yard supplies from flowers to pavers, pots, even chairs. Anything they want to donate, um, gets dropped off right here. Left at the drop zone to get cleaned up or in some cases. There's many things in triage here. So if you come in and something doesn't look that great, come back in a few weeks or next season and it's going to be beautiful. As a former landscaper, Walzak has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to just how much sprucing up Aren't they cute? your yard can be. Plus an inside look at where all of our old stuff goes. And it all just goes in their dump trailers to the dump. She simply wanted to change that and help those who are trying to put to use their green thumb on a budget. Although she's running the show, it's all under the watchful eye of Don Thyre. I'm holding a chair down in the shade. Volunteering. Thyre and his wife help weed, plant, whatever else needs to be done to help Walzak's Dream Blossom. Restoration specialist, that's what he is. She's come full circle. Her first job was actually here at the age of 15. The name, though, has nothing to do with the star that keeps these flowers growing. It's a family name, a family she never met until eight years ago. I moved to Syracuse when I sold my business because I had found my birth mother. Out east, the family owns a couple of businesses with the name Sunshines in it. When I was trying to figure out the name for here, my mother said, well, why don't you call it Sunshine's something or other? A touching gesture and proof that you never know just how much your life Step ready for the day. will flourish. That's why we say this is the place where second chances grow. Reporting for Spectrum News, I'm Brianna Foose.